An annual tradition returns to the district and it is drawing crowds from far away as we celebrate Dr. King Day. News 4's Derek Ward is live at the MLK Memorial with the sights and sounds of today's D.C. Peace Walk Parade. Hi, Derek. Good evening. Well, we are here across the Tidal Basin from the MLK Memorial. You can see it there. It's been a popular destination today, and even as the sun sets, people are starting to gather there. But earlier today, there was a gathering along MLK Avenue for a tradition that's been going on since 1977 with one interruption because of COVID. Well, they were back today with new determination and new purpose. Preparation started early to carry out a tradition, an event that brings the Anacostia community out to the avenue bearing Dr. King's name. Organizers want to see that it's more than just a parade. Because we're facing some of the same things that Dr. King talked about. You know, those triple evils of America still exist. Racism, poverty. Stuart Anderson is co-chair of the parade. Any parade is something special for the young ones, especially those that get to march. Youth participation is a big part of it. We're just trying to make sure that we're passing the torch. These young ladies are from Ketchum Elementary School. The parade is practically in their backyards, as is the message and the legacy behind the street name that they likely travel every day. These are the future. This is what he marched for. This is what he, he tribute his life for, for them. And so we owe it to them to make sure that they are great. Some participants came from a bit farther away to be part of this. We came all the way from Smithfield, Virginia. Martell Hawkins says their trip to D.C. is about learning as much as it is about marching. I have challenged them to have their dream and know that they can make a difference in today's society. The MLK parade joined with a peace walk, which started a few blocks away. And therein lies another message, a convergence of themes. Raquel Littlejohn lost a family member on this very avenue. We're trying to get godly principles back into the city. They're letting people know that life is valuable. We're tired of losing our young people's lives. And we're just trying to bring awareness to the city. One of this year's grand marshals was instrumental in starting this Anacostia tradition. Elwood Yango Sawyer seeing the event grow in scope and significance. And I've been honored, man, to be a, a grand marshal. He's seen a few of these parades, but for this young man, it's a first. And at four, it's the start of a tradition and a lesson about a legacy. Martin Luther King and the tradition of the parade. So we'll talk about all of that later. Now, after the uh, parade, there was a health fair, and that is in keeping with Dr. King's teachings and his words. He called inequality in health among the most inhuman because it often leads to physical death. We're live on the Tidal Basin across from the MLK Memorial. Derek Ward, News 4, back to you. All right, Derek, thank you.